Hi guys, my name is Paddy Man. This is my agility seminar video log. So the agility drill I'm going to be performing is what's known as a 5-10-5 drill. It's used in American football, especially during their combine combine tests and events. It's simple: start in the middle white cone, run to one of the red cones that's five meters, run to the opposite red cone that's ten meters, and then back to the middle and that's five meters, and that's your 5-10-5. So as part of this task, you were not allowed to have previously perform this drill before. But as part of my job as a football competition coach, I've constantly performed various uh, agility drills. Although I've not done this one before, there will be some crossover. So as a general overview, I think my two key areas of weakness are the ability to change direction quickly and just running smartness, so running the shortest route. So when I set off, I utilize the three-point start to try and explode out the blocks. Um, I take two big steps and then slow down. I think that's within the idea of what you should be looking to do. But on the turns, um, I'm all over the place, really. I lose my balance. I don't turn efficiently. I waste too much time and energy trying to turn. And then once I've actually made the turn, instead of running in a straight line, I seem to run in more of a curved line. So I'm just increasing the distance, which is obviously going to take longer. The aim of this drill to be run as fast as possible and achieve the quickest time as possible. It's just going to negate that mass. So after my first woeful attempt, I had a few more practices, which I'm not going to show on here because it would take all day. Uh, and then and I've uploaded my best attempt, or what I thought was my best attempt. So I, every time I ran, I tried to follow that white line in the middle of the picture, use that as my as my guide to run straighter. I think I did this, but my turns were still phenomenally slow though, uh, it's something I have to work on. I don't have enough arm drive out the block to really need to explode, but I think just running that straight line will help me massively with regards to reducing my time. So for me, every drill you do has to have some kind of crossover to spot, and for me, just following a pattern of cones uh, bears no resemblance to sport. In sport, you don't follow a predetermined path. It's everything's chaotic. You react to stimuluses, and that's why for the next drills, um, I brought in some reaction-based agility dr drills rather than just basic change of direction like the five, ten, five. I wanted to try a real agility drill where I had to react to a stimulus, which in this case was a person. So this next drill involved the athlete accelerating forwards then either going left or right depending on which way the um, person pointed and then accelerating to the next cone and then sharply cutting and accelerating forwards. So obviously you still are following cones, for example there is an element of reaction and react to a stimulus in there. So for this drill, the earlier you can react to the person the better, the earlier you can react uh, the less steep the angle will be and then the quicker the change of direction will be. I couldn't really highlight um, my before and after shots because my after ones in some cases were worse uh, than my pre shots just because the person was either taking longer to put his arm up and down. Um, but that's that sport really, you don't know what's going to happen all the time. So at some point I nearly run into him before he put his arm out and you've just got to react to that. So it's hard to say what's good and what is bad just from looking at that video. So to conclude, I need to work on placing myself into the most effective positions in order to generate force in the direction required. Uh, and in addition to that, uh, with true agility drills, uh, it's the ability to react to a stimulus and put yourself in the most effective position and then carry out that movement, I believe is what separates the higher from the lower levels of athletes.